Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for coming to our panel session uh, where we have representatives from three of our best user groups uh, to hear, to share their experiences and have a discussion with you about what it takes to run a user group. We have uh, over here Liu Guangya uh, from China. We have Hasegawa Akihiro from Japan and Sayed Amani, who is representing the Indian group. What we're going to do is we're going to have a short introduction of each of the groups uh, in order, and then we'll flip over to a Q&A discussion panel session about halfway through. So without further ado, let's please welcome Guang Ya. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my topic is organizing meetup, organizing OpenStack meetup in China, and I'm from IBM. I was one of the organizers for OpenStack China meetup. Okay. The agenda is as following uh, meetup summary, meetup survey, and meetup experience. Currently in China, we have three sites, including uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and uh, Xi'an. Beijing meetup was founded in last October, and the Shanghai meetup was founded in April of this year. Xi'an meetup was founded in June of this year, and all of the three sites have the meetup regularly per month. And we are trying to engage more people, more companies, and more schools to get involved. Okay, this is some data. Uh, from left, we can see that till the end of October, we have uh, more than three, uh, we have more than three, fifteen registered members in Beijing Meetup and uh, one fourteen members in Xi'an Meetup and one twenty members in Shanghai, and we have totally eighteen Meetups, and the total participants is around six hundred, which means that we have more than thirty people for each Meetup event. And uh, we also do some uh, analysis for meetup topics. So you can see that the top three topics are network, installer, and operations. So that seems more and more people are willing to take some challenge in network. Uh, and you may also notice that Docker, Docker is becoming hot and hot. And it's becoming part of uh, OpenStack ecosystem. And we also have the some sessions for ATR Summit Summary. This means that the Meetup is willing to share the latest OpenStack information to all Meetup members. So I, I believe that we will have some Paris Summit Summary in the coming future. Yes, this is some Meetup players. So we have some foundation members, such as IBM, Red Hat, HP, and we also have some other members. And we are very glad to see that more and more China native companies are now getting involved, such as Huawei, ED Stack, U Stack, and uh, Sky Cloud. And we also have some universities in China also getting in, such as Tsinghua University, Xian Jiaotong University, etc. And we did a survey in three cities with eight, with eight simple questions, and finally we got 120 feedback. We can take a look at the survey result. First, and the first is uh, understanding level. So we can see that most people are in the middle level, either applied or acquired. Second, experience, we can see that most people ever used OpenStack. Third, where do we work? We can see that most people come from IT companies and uh, schools. So till now, we have no member from government. So we need to take some action to attract some people from government. And how, how has your company used OpenStack? We can see that most companies, including about 67%, are using are doing some investigation and the test. And you may also notice that we have uh, almost 20% companies is now using OpenStack in production for their own business. How to broadcast OpenStack in China? Most people broadcast via attending summit and writing some blogs. Uh, OpenStack target. We can see that most companies are solution providers. They're just using OpenStack to do some integration and provide some cloud solutions. Uh, which products are you interested? We can see the top three products are Nova, Heat, and Neutron. So it seems that more and more companies are planning to use Heat to manage their application. And they're also planning to, ma uh, to migrate network from Nova network to Neutron. So uh, how to contribute to global community? We can see that most people contribute via mail list. And there are also many people contribute by real patches, report back, 
and uh, commit patches. You may also notice that we have uh, more than 20 people who have no contribution. And the reason from the feedback is that those people are new to community and they are just trying to get some chance to contribute. So this is the, this is the survey result, and my feeling is that OpenStack is growing very fast in China and it's becoming more and more mature. But we may need to take some action in network and the installer to make sure that OpenStack can enter to production early. Yeah. Uh, this part is the meetup experience. So to have a good meetup, we may need to do the following. Uh, select a topic and a speaker, select location, broadcast, and uh, sponsorship. The last thing is that we need to make a good summary. Uh, for the first, uh, we often discuss and collect topics from Meetup, and uh, sometimes we can collect some topics and uh, speakers from volunteer companies. Second is location. Uh, currently, uh, we can we can often get a free place from a company to host the meetup. And uh, sometimes we may need to rent a public place, such as coffee shop, a public meeting room, etc. And uh, for broadcast, currently we are using uh, uh, meetup.com, Cinerable, WeChat, and QQ Group to broadcast the meetup. Uh, sponsorship, the reason we have this is that we do not want one company to dominate the meetup. We just want to make it neutral. So currently, the sponsorship is mainly from some meetup players, such as IBM, Red Hat, Canonical, etc. The last one is uh, that we need to make a good summary, because a good summary can attract more people and help more people in the future. OK, this is, some, uh, this is the way how we broadcast and uh, summary the meetup. So I have listed all of the social medias here. You can see the, the media including Shanghai, Beijing, and uh, Xi'an. And we are also using OpenStack.cn to be the central management website for all the meetup. Yeah, OK. Uh, perhaps this is the open question. So that I think that we can discuss it during the panel discussion. Yeah. OK. Great. Thank you, Guangya. Uh, so, next up, uh, hold your questions for the panel time. We have Hasegawa-san, who is going to be speaking about the Japanese user group. Thank you. My name is Akira Hasegawa. I created uh, 90 pages uh, slides, but I only have uh, seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to rush up there. And thank you for coming. Uh, such a lot of the people joining that I cannot see the Exactly, but anyway, I want to introduce you the, about the Japan OpenStack user groups, history of the Japan OpenStack user group. We are founded on the 2010. Uh, at that time, we only have the 20 people joining our mailing list. And uh, we're keeping the meetup and uh, some uh, hackathon events also. And last year, we are starting to do the OpenStack Days Tokyo. This is uh, something the more the business uh, conference like it's similar to the global summit and this year also we have to keep going the this eventos and the membership grows and so as I mentioned 2010 we just started at the time only the 20 or 30 people and current number is the 100 whole oh, oh, sorry 1400 1400 uh, people joining the our mailing list and this is our the first meetup event. This time, you know, uh, Jim Carrey and uh, Jonathan Bryce also attending this event. By the way, this venue is uh, located in the Roppongi. It's famous place in Japan. Yes. And so we are a lot of the meetup event and the hackathon, and also joining the local open source event, OSS event. So every month, everywhere in Japan, we are the doing the such a open stack communities activities. And uh, so as I mentioned, open stack days Tokyo, it is uh, one of the, our big challenges. So basically, our user group is starting from the uh, engineers 
programmer and the operators. But uh, of course, Cloud itself is a lot of the people joining the, these communities, not only the engineers, but also the marketing and sales and such kind of things. So we need to educate the, our the customer, open the consumers. So we need to do the, some more the, uh, business like and also the technical like the event. And this is uh, uh, our the first time is 2013. At that time, attendees uh, almost 700 people. It's a one day event and the sponsors is more than the 20. And this year, this number is uh, going up, and 1,000 people joining, and 13 sponsors uh, joining the, this event. But uh, this is uh, uh, not our uh, expected numbers. We expect more than that, because first time, only the one day event, and 700 people. And second time, we have the two days event, then the more than the double, but only the 1,000, because you know, the, that time we have a heavy snowing at the time, and <laughs> we need to fighting with the snow. By the way, OpenStack Foundation members very enjoy the snowing. Maybe the, uh, Austin does not snowing so much, <laughs> anyway. So this is also our challenges. And this event, we have a lot of the companies sponsored. So you already mentioned the Canonical or some IBM and some other the global companies, of course, joining our event. And uh, some of other the Japanese local companies also joining this event. It's quite a good number of the sponsors, I think. And so this is also maybe the uh, panel discussion topic, how to grow a user group itself. I, want a little bit talking about this. My opinion is get involved, get your boss involved. Because uh, of course, some case uh, I'm asking to boss, is this okay to join this event? So how to make money? <laughs> we cannot work, right? Open source community itself is uh, almost volunteer, right? So to involve the, your boss and the, some other the department, it's uh, very important. And by the way, last month we have the Open Stack Upstream training in Japan. It's uh, the first use case to the accept the global summit to the, do the upstream training. This time also a lot of the mentors volunteer to helping the, this event. And so such kind of things, we need uh, some of the understanding from your companies and the organizations. And another one is uh, get other companies involved. So in China case, already a lot of the local and uh, global companies involved the communities. So our case is the same. So this is our member companies. Quite a lot of the companies joining it. And uh, it's not only the hardware makers, networking and the data centers and uh, the, 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 the university or something like that. It's a kind of the diversity of the uh, user group members, I think. So our activity is uh, targeting the whole layers. So Dan uh, Dancer is uh, OpenStack providers. These people usually the, uh, implementing the OpenStack technologies in your data center or in your services. But of course, so OpenStack is a cloud technologies. So there are some the cloud consumers. So consumer would like need to understand the how to use the cloud itself and also the how to use the OpenStack API and so on. So we are several the uh, layers. So bottom layers is the upstreaming training. It is uh, uh, someone who would like to the contribute to the new patch, then we can help. And someone who would like to know the new technologies and uh, implementation, such kind of thing, we provide a hackathon and a tech meetup event. And if somebody wants to meet the, you are the end users or the, you are the partners, then we provide the OpenStack Day Tokyo. So <laughs> we are the, not focusing on the technology side, but also the marketing services, and uh, technically, it's not only the developers, but also the operators. It's similar to the OpenStack Global Summit, I think. 
And this is our the Japanese super users. So there are a lot of the companies already using the OpenStack. But uh, so you have a, our challenge is to need to enter the more the enterprise market, I think. As you know, OK, one minute. <laughs> Maybe the next is my last slide, OK. And anyway, so uh, this year, we also have the OpenStack Days Tokyo event 2015. If you have a time, please join this. And also, we have the Okinawa event on the December 11th, 12th. And at that time, we have a plan to do the some Asian OpenStack user community session, panel sessions, something like similar to the like that. And please also join the, this event as also. And last slide. So as you know, the next year's OpenStack Summit is hosted in the Tokyo. So Japan OpenStack is a group is a very welcome to coming to Tokyo. OK, thank you very much for the <laughs> to hearing my pride. <laughs> thank you. Arigato, Hasegawa-san. OK, uh, so Syed, uh, representing the Indian user group, is going to talk without slides. Good luck. Hi, guys. I am Sayed Armani. I'm one of the co-organizers of OpenStack in the user group. And uh, we started in April 2012 with 20-something uh, people. And uh, by today, we are close to 3,000 people. We had over 42 meetups across nine cities. And we plan to expand to uh, around 14 or 15 cities. Uh, we, we have different sorts of uh, users coming to these meetups, like students, uh, development managers, uh, and uh, developers, and all have uh, different expectations from the meetups. So most of the time, we have these, like, sometimes this is, uh, the meetup was too tech-savvy, and uh, the people who are coming to the first time were not able to understand. And then there are developers who want to enter into OpenStack world and contribute more. So we have been thinking about doing a lot of things. And since we have collected a lot of experience uh, in our journey, we have figured out that we have to do something to increase contributions in OpenStack. Because at the end of the day, it is uh, a contribution in the form of code or document, uh, good documentation means a lot. So we have been thinking about doing some hackathons or upstream training in, in our country in different cities so that we could increase the contribution. And at the same time, in, in different meetups, so we can, uh, we can educate the uh, product managers, the managers who, uh, who attend our meetups about uh, the impact that OpenStack is going to have uh, in future. And our, our group runs kind of independently. We have a very flat structure. Uh, three of the co-organizers out of four are here, but still we have two uh, meetups this week and next week. So we are kind of run by the people. So we, students and uh, universities, they decide, okay, we need to meet up because we have some agenda, we need to present something. They ask us for the date and the venue, we arrange it, and that's how our meetups have been every month. One more thing is that in India, uh, the tech-savvy people are concentrated in few cities, like you might have heard of Bangalore. So our one of our goal is to uh, diversify this thing or to take this thing to other cities as well. So we, we are trying to go to more and more cities, find a local organizer, and, uh, uh, and uh, expand this thing so that more and more people could know about, more and more university students can more know about OpenStack and they can start contributing to it. We have st uh, like a lot of universities uh, which are uh, distributed across the country. And we are trying to partner with them and uh, I mean to collaborate with them so that we can have like these hackathons and uh, upstream training in the university itself. We have done it previously and it has uh, brought us good results because those students now are contributors in the OpenStack environment. So that's what we are looking forward to. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Said. And uh, so this is a panel session. 
Those of you who've uh, joined us may or may not have realized, but this is also an interactive session. We have microphones placed around the room where you're able to approach and ask a question to any of our panelists. But because it's very scary to stand up and use the microphone uh, to be the first question maker, uh, perhaps I'll start. So, oh, you want to ask the question? Kavit, please go ahead. Walk all the way over there, that's right. We want to make sure the recording captures your beautiful voice. Hello. All right. Uh, so I would, I would li li like to ask a question to the uh, to the Japanese user group. Yeah. yeah hi. How d how did you manage to go from the one day open stack day format to the two day open stack day format? Did you find it useful to separate dev and ops? Uh, the second thing was how did you manage the expectation of the sponsors? Like, do, did you did you have to promise something to them to get them to sponsor you, or was it just a natural process? Because we are going through the same thing. We are trying to do the OpenStack India Day, and we, we are finding that one day is not enough, but we are finding it a bit difficult to get into the two days and what to deliver to the sponsors so that they actually give us enough money that we can go to two, two days. Thank you. OK, uh, the question is, uh, and one day and the two day event about. And first time, we cannot estimate the how many people come to the our event. So that's why I started the one day event. After that, we are keeping do the some meetup and some other events. So every time, more than 100 people joining that. So we understand that we need more capacities. So uh, our two day events, one day is only the Platina uh, sponsors and uh, only the one room. And second day, the uh, gold sponsors have uh, separate two uh, sessions, parallel. And, but not clearly separated the business or technology. It's mixed, yes. And, uh, but uh, of course, a lot of the companies already involving the open stock, the market businesses. So they would like to introduce their other product and the services also. So there are a lot of the types of the, as I mentioned, our the membership is not only the hardware companies, also the networking and the system integration and so on. So it's very easy to, uh, yes, get the sponsors, also the get the attendees, yes. and. And uh, one more question, and uh, what the question was the next? <laughs> I'm organizing the, this event itself, and uh, of course, some of the, our the committee members and uh, have the meeting, and so, of course, it depends on the venues, and usually the one-day event and the two-day events, we don't need to more than double the cost, yes? Only setting up the booth and something in the one time, and such uh, calculation is also needed. <laughs> Yeah, and as I told you before, as and uh, many sponsors would like to introduce a lot of the solutions, and that's why we the uh, change to the to the event. Yes. And so I think there's a follow-up question, uh, Guangyao. You might be interested in talking about is how do you deal with sponsors as a user group? Yeah, right. Because I think that is very important because we need the uh, sponsorship to run meetup. Yeah. Currently, we may get some sponsorship from volunteer companies. So I'm just wondering if is it possible to get some sponsorship from foundation? Yeah. I guess I'm the foundation representative here. Uh, so uh, one of the things that uh, so the foundation's in an interesting position where we're trying to be the ubiquitous cloud system. And you saw Mark's keynote today. We've got people coming here from 60 countries. We've actually counted users in 140 different countries. And if each of these countries has at least one user group, and we need to give money to all of them, our money doesn't go very far. So we always do encourage user groups to find local sponsorship where possible. 
However, one of the things that we've realized is that especially for these larger events like OpenStack Tokyo Day, which uh, this year got 1,300 people, more or less, uh, so the foundation will contribute uh, money to these really, really large events. But uh, in terms of the, the monthly meetups, the best we can do is try and help introduce you to, to other companies and uh, also try and uh, have some conversations with some management level people that we're aware of. Yeah, in India, companies come to us, okay, we want to host a meetup and we will give lunch or we will give snacks so we don't have face this problem. But yeah, for larger events like OpenStack India Day, yeah, we need foundation's help and some sponsors. But for meetups, no. For monthly meetups, no. Yeah, go. In Japan, also, the we don't get any the uh, money from I uh, except the uh, OpenStack Day Tokyo, and usually meetup is uh, only the volunteer and some of the companies giving us uh, some coffee or uh, snacks or so on. And uh, but the uh, key point is uh, on the OpenStack Day Tokyo event. We need a foundation member to give the keynote speech because a lot of the press and a lot of the attendees come to this event. Uh, only the Japanese people is pretty hard to gathering uh, such a lot of the number of attendees. And so this is uh, not directly helping, but also the very important assistance from the foundations, I think. Well, we've got uh, someone who's brave enough to stand up to the microphone, sir. Okay, um, I'm from Hong Kong, so I'm in the, I also attend the NAS, NAS summit in Hong Kong. I'm interested to note uh, how the OpenStack uh, uh, adoption in Asian changed uh, after the first summit in Asian. <laughs> and also say, I'm also interested to note, I heard from the China rep say, uh, there are some user group in Beijing, Shanghai, but not in the southern China. Or, uh, any insight on that? But, uh, yeah. yeah, currently uh, we only have three sites, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and uh, Xi'an. Yeah, but uh, we also have, have some planning to expand it to, to, to such as Shenzhen. Yeah. We, also, we also have some planning. And and what's uh, what do you need to make that reality? What do you need to set up the user groups in Guangdong or or the south of China? Yeah, possibly. We, uh, first day is that we need to find some organizers. Yeah, because in uh, Shenzhen we also have some OpenStack companies, so possibly we can get some results from there. Yeah. And, and Said, have you? How do you expand the Indian group? Because you're using many cities worth of meetup right now. Usually, um, so sometimes there are are people in the mailing list from different uh, cities, and uh, th this is one thing we directly contact them. Okay, you are from this city, and uh, and there are many people interested in the, uh, meeting. Uh, there are many people working around OpenStack. Would you like? Would you be interested in uh, becoming a local organizer and host events on behalf of OpenStack and user group? This is one thing. Second thing is people attend these meetups in Bangalore, Pune, or Hyderabad, and they come to us and they say, "Okay, we are from here, and uh, we are interested in having a meetup group in Hyderabad." For example, the guy coming to uh, attended the Bangalore meetup and said that I'm interested in starting user group in Pune. So. We help him in getting in touch with the local companies, which are Pune-based. And then these companies provide uh, uh, the, the space and uh, all, uh, all the facilities that that local guy needs for this, uh, to run this, me uh, to have a meetup. And then we advertise or arrange this uh, user group meeting on our um, meetup group page. And then people usually get to know about it and they will RSVP and this is how it starts. And then we also have our mailing list and we send an email. That's how Sounds it. like it's working. Yeah. That's uh, great to hear. And we have our, our next uh, person at the microphone. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, one question is to Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know, uh, besides money, <laughs> I mean, excess money maybe, what kind of uh, other support 
the global community can reach local communities. That's one question. And the, the second question is to the, uh, to the uh, speaker. Um, uh, I, uh, I know uh, you, 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 all of you are organizing the meetups uh, locally. Uh, of course, you would get uh, many feedback, uh, maybe to the, to the community, maybe to the software. So how, uh, how do you uh, respond this feedback to the global community? I mean, uh, not only upstream code, maybe upstream the response, uh, resp uh, upstream the comments to the community. Well, did you guys want to take the second question first? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. This, uh, yeah, this is when this is a fantastic question. People come to us. They say, "Okay, we are facing this problem. Uh, like this is the bug I saw." Okay. So my first, uh, if somebody tells me this thing, what I do is that I tell them the relevant IRC handles, email, or. Uh, uh, where to file the bug or the relevant mailing list so that they can report it. There's a bug, so I will suggest them that you should launch it on, uh, have a file it on Launchpad. Okay, and otherwise I could also tell them, okay, you should email to this person or you should email to OpenStack development mailing list and they will definitely answer your question or solve your problem. Otherwise, this is the IRC handle of the PTL or the core member and just directly talk to them. This is what I do. Yeah, I think that this is also my question. Uh, so till now, uh, we have had many meetups in China, but it uh, seems that we did not send enough feedback to OpenStack Foundation. So I think that uh, it would be great if we can have some channels to be connected so that this can make, can make uh, meetups can, can grow up quickly in across the world. So. Not all Chinese people speak English well, so <laughs> actually I think the, communi uh, the English communication in global community is a difficulty for many China Chinese developers to speak English. Indeed. And uh, in case, ladies and gentlemen, you weren't aware, our questioner right now is uh, Ying Chun Guo, who is the translation coordinator for OpenStack. So please thank her for all of her work. So, uh, can I speak? Of course. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, in Japan, it's the same. Uh, of course, everybody don't speak the English fluently. So, it is one of the very the important for the meetup event because uh, Japanese people can talk with uh, Japanese contributors and engineers. So, everybody can share the information. If something problem or the issues, then the, this uh, core developer or some other the, such kind of the, the directory contact with the development team, they escalate the issues, I think. And the uh, meetup event itself is not separate the organizer side and the attendee side, but also it's mixed. Sometimes I'm the organizer, but sometimes I'm the attendees. So it's the open source communities, everybody the helping each other. And uh, we uh, somehow resolving the such uh, issues and uh, some Mm, somehow we escalate uh, such kind of uh, things to the communities, yes. Maybe it's same as the uh, other countries, I think, yeah. Indeed, and uh, one of the things that the foundation's been trying to do is uh, through the ambassador program, kind of provide that central aggregation point and central point uh, where we can uh, communicate things uh, like what's happening for the first or fourth birthday uh, celebration, or what's happening for the Juno release, and, and that kind of thing. Um, particularly, we also have a couple of community managers. I'm one of those. Uh, Stefano Mofoli is, is my colleague, who's another community manager, and we're always available for any of these kind of discussions. We also, some of you may or may not be aware, have a mailing list just for talking about these kind of community or user group issues. Uh, it's the community mailing list. You can find it. Uh, at lists.openstack.org, and I'd, I'd recommend you check that out. Uh, finally, if the discussion about translation and different languages has interested you, you can follow me immediately after this session for the translators meetup, which is happening down in the other hotel. But we've got about six minutes left in our panel, gentlemen. 
Uh, did you have any uh, remarks that uh, you really want to get on the record? <laughs> nope. <laughs> really? You, you don't want to I sing a song, perhaps, or, or dance? Really? Yeah. Can I sing a song? Zankoku no Nateshi no Tezi? Okay, great. So, uh, I have a question about uh, you, each you members. So, in Japan, is uh, very uh, very compact. In Tokyo, a lot of the engineers are gathering, and but uh, China and India is population is uh, maybe the ten times more than Japan, and it's pretty hard to moderate. And uh, also the maybe the market, open stock market itself is also the big differentiation between the our country to you countries. So my question is, uh, our challenge is, as I mentioned, we have to somehow enter the enterprise market. It's, it's a challenge for us. And uh, how about you? Uh, in your countries, already the many the uh, companies already using the open stock or the such kind of the uh, use case. Yes. Uh, please share the situations and such kind of things. Uh, currently in China, we have some uh, obstacle companies. Yeah, they are just uh, they are just uh, doing some integration work. Uh, we have one new company named as uh, Easy Stack. Yeah, so its final goal is China United. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, we are mainly focusing on some uh, solutions, and we also have another company named uh, United Stack, and it's just using OpenStack to to provide some public cloud. Yeah. And we we and uh, both of those two companies have uh, some customers in China. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because uh, currently the Chinese government is not um, is uh, is very uh, they are not willing to use some foreign companies software. So I think that uh, those new those new companies in China uh, working on Opsia should have very good future. Yeah. Well, in India, the government uh, offices are, are also al already looking at OpenStack, and some of them are already have Swift in production. And as far as the enterprise goes, most of the big US-based uh, tech companies have development teams working in Bangalore or Pune or Hyderabad. So lots of teams already know what's going on. They are the developers, or they are uh, they are in operations or maintenance. And as far as SMEs are concerned, yeah, it's it's a new thing for them. So they are trying to uh, they are trying to learn more and more about it, and they are trying to enter the open stack market. So that's when that's where we are trying to educate them and help them. Okay, this is what it is, and you can you leverage it. But as far as government is concerned, or big enterprise or big companies are concerned, they are already pretty much into open stack. Yeah, uh, I also want to mention that because I'm from IBM, and uh, actually we also have a product uh, named uh, as IBM Cloud Manager. And currently, we have some comp we have some customers in government and the bank. Yes, uh, the the typical use case is that they want to run big data on cloud. Yeah, they they want to uh, use use cloud to do some auto scaling based on workload. Yeah, this is a very typical case. Another case is that um, cloud boards. Uh, I have uh, attended many sessions, and uh, there are many companies doing cloud boards. Uh, it means that uh, they have local cluster, and if the local cluster did not have enough resource, and then they will burst uh, to public cloud. Yeah, but uh, I think that uh, mm, this case might not be very easy to extend to government or or what else. Yeah, because they they might care the security. Yeah. Indeed. Well, we have only two minutes left in our panel. Uh, do you have any closing remarks, perhaps advice for how people can get involved in their local communities? Well, if you're working in OpenStack, and so you might want to find a local group that's in your vicinity. If you can't, then you can get in touch with the ambassador, the local, your country ambassador, or the local user group. And uh, then you can, for example, if you want to get involved into OpenStack, uh, like you just want to be, a, you're a developer or you are into DevOps, 
then you can figure out, talk to these people. They know people in the OpenStack uh, community. They can uh, help you in getting in touch with the relevant people because it will be easy for you to get, uh, it will be fast for you to get up to speed because with the right direction, you can go pretty much more fast as compared to going on your own. Yes. Okay. Hi, everybody. Yeah, uh, so Meetup is willing to share some OpenStack experience to all members. So, and we and we also want to encourage more people, more companies, and more schools to get involved. So, mm, uh, mm, okay. <laughs> I think th I think that's all what I want. So my opinion is uh, diversity is most important. I think, as I mentioned before, of course, a lot of the people is joining the OpenStack community, not only the developers, but also the translators, marketing, sales operators, such kind of things. So in Japan, OpenStack is a group. It, uh, leader is uh, Tomoaki Nakajima. But uh, I'm organizing the OpenStack Day Tokyo, and the upstream training is uh, another guy, Torisa, maybe something say here. But anyway, a lot of the people is uh, joining the user group itself and they do the, their own task by themselves. Not only the one people or one company and uh, organizing everything. Uh, it's something of the distributed <laughs> systems, <laughs> I think. Anyway, such a diversity, is maybe the, it's very important things, I think. One more thing I would like to tell you about the Indian OpenStack user group. You know that India is the biggest democracy in the world. Well, we also run OpenStack India user group in a democratic way. It's a flat hierarchy. There's no leader. Everybody is the leader. So everybody can organize and do whatever they want. They're free to do everything in their own city or wherever they, they are. Indeed. And I think that's a, a fantastic point to end our panel. Everyone in this room can be a leader in your local community, and I hope you can all participate. Let's thank our panelists again. <laughs>